It's a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach when you've got this beautiful RV, gorgeous RV, and you're parked somewhere, and a thunderstorm comes up, and there's hail, and it's crashing off the roof of your uh, RV, and your beautiful truck, and your, and, and it's making a racket, and it's loud, and you know, it's not like living in a house. You know, you live in a house with a roof and an attic, and you get a, little bit, get a little bit of hail, and you hardly even hear it, you know. But you live in a you know, an RV, and you hear it, you know. And it's freaking them out. It's freaking them out. Switch it up. Hail damage. Hail damage is never any fun, right? Oh, no. And post-storm inspection. You know, it, it's all, you know, it always sounds worse than it is. Everything's okay. He does notice a few little pits in some of the air conditioner units on where the little uh, where the little vents are on there, but he thinks that's you know just minor stuff. So no big damage from the uh, hailstorm, but uh, I don't know. You know, and you got to worry about you know your solar panels. I guess everything was everything checked out there. So uh, you know, again, it sounds worse than it is. But you know, yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah. So uh, one of the other, one of the many, 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 many joys of living in an RV are thunderstorms. You know, and sometimes you get the heavy winds and you feel like you're going to blow over. That can happen, and uh, the you know, and then the hail. Yeah, that's that's no fun. But uh, you know, hey, you know, there's always the upside, and that's going out afterward and finding everything's pretty good. Although it could have been the other way around too. You never know. I don't know, man. Yeah. More fun of living on the road. Aren't you glad you're... <laughs> Some people are like, All right, gee, I live in a sticks and bricks house with a big heavy roof and, uh, you know, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't know, man. Check them out. Switch it up. Ooh, they're having a Georgia huddle. Ooh. Anyway, so uh, the Berkey water filter. Ooh. They should um, uh, check out with, uh, what's his name, Rob there, Little House Off Grid. Did, did you did you what in the Berkey? Duh. They're having a Georgia huddle there November 4th through 7th. Mm, mm, mm. So Georgia's not that far from North Carolina, right? <laughs> Trim and Tracy's going to be coming here in western uh, North Carolina, Morganton, uh, in just a, a couple of weeks now, so uh, we're looking forward to that. At least that's in her plans. She is doing a reenactment of a scene in Nomadland here. Uh, do you know which scene this could be? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I think I, I think I got it. I think I got it. I don't want to see a re reenactment of that scene. No. I don't see too much of Harv in this one, but <clears throat> we do get a few Harvisms. I don't know the mystery, the mystery man. Remember, hey, I, I keep having to rehash everything. She went up to uh, Eastern North Carolina, Western, what, Eastern North, Eastern Virginia, Western. No, wait, Eastern Tennessee, Western North Carolina to uh, meet a troll on her channel, a guy from Ohio named Harv, and uh, and uh, they were camping out together, and they were going to do, they were doing a lot of touristy things in Gatlinburg and stuff like that, and cooking, and so so, all right, so. Good video there. Check it out. Camping in the Great Smokies. Oh, there's an elk in this one, huh? Of course, there's the lovely couple. So, But Harv is mainly in the background making Harvisms. <laughs> no! What am I... This, the grunt. The Skillshare grunt, right? It's the kind of... Uh, it's like another red light. Uh, like, you know, it's like when you flush the toilet and... It overflows. Uh, and, and you watch another video. Uh, now I'm going to talk about Skillshare for 10 minutes. Uh, thank goodness we have this little bar down here. We can skip, skip, skip right through all that. Anyway, you know, I don't know. Skill, I'm not going to, you know, Skillshare, NordVPN, Nomad Internet. I don't know. You know, I just like, but first I've got to talk. I'm going to give you a 10 minute presentation on Skillshare. And then, and then she has to unbox it. Piece of junk she got for free. <laughs> Click on the link below. Look, I like Down a Van Life. She has a good channel. I really do like it. I like her channel, but man, come on, man. So, you know, but she's just promoting, look, their skill shares and jackeries and unboxing junk and she's 
Get an annual subscription. I don't know, man. No! I'm tired of it. Come on. I like I like Donna Van Life's channel. She has a nice channel, but I just I can't take all the all the product pitches. It's too much. You've gotten you've gotten too much now. Cut it cut it back. No, 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 no. No. He's getting sued. Uh, Rob's getting sued by the grocery store. <laughs> He's getting sued by the grocery store. Little house off grid. I, you know, I guess people that subscribe to his channel just realize that this is all just, you know. Uh, let's let's check the latest. Let's check the latest ones here. Let's see. Uh, videos, shall we? Remember, Evie Nova used to say, "My channel. Watch my videos on my channel." Anyway, uh, here he is uh, being sued. The grocery store is going to sue him. The CDC is going to ban chickens. That's right. No more chickens. Can't have chickens. No more chickens. <laughs> you know what he ought to do? You know what he ought to do? You know what he really ought to do? He ought to get together with uh, some investors and start up a, a cable news channel. He really should do that. Why is he wasting his time building some little cottage there off the grid? He should be, he should go to New York City and start a cable news channel and uh, he's you know he would just he would get such good ratings <laughs> not again <laughs> Rob you missed your calling can't wait for Van City Adventures premiere tomorrow night a naked swim ooh <laughs> And then, of course, we got from Simply RVing Lydia, cooking and showering on the road. You don't want to do both at the same time. No. <laughs> do them separately. Don't do cooking and showering together. No. Hey, hey, and they were there first. They were there first. You're just moving into their neighborhood. Maybe you should learn to live with them. The pack rats. Got another video here. He thought he got rid of the pack rats, but he's been exploring the uh, land around Panda Land. Panda Land, Aja, a.k.a. Aja Acres there up in uh, northern Arizona. And he's finding a lot more pack rats making nests all over the place. You know, uh, you know, they, they, it's their their land. I mean, they were there first. You're you're the new neighbors. You know, maybe you should <laughs> learn to live and let live. I don't know, man. What do you What do you guys think? What do you guys think? You know, this is their territory. This is where they live at the scrubby high desert there in, near Flagstaff. And uh, he's uh, busy uh, evicting them, evicting the pack rats that have built their beautiful little nests all over the countryside there. So, uh, Ed and Sue, uh, Nomad Ranch. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know, man. Hey, I bought this land. It's my property. Now get off my, you know, get off my lawn. Let's say get off my lawn attitude, you know. Get off my lawn. That's right. Anyway, I, love <laughs> I don't know, man. You just get rid of the rats and more come back, right? And then we have to bring it down a notch here. We want to get serious for a second here. Ed has a very nice little tribute here. He has some wind chimes up there. Uh, reminds him of a dear relative that uh, passed away. Uh, you know, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat, you know. So all our condolences to Ed there. You know, it's hard. You're making some jokes, and then all of a sudden... Wham, they hit you with something really serious like this. And, uh, you know, hey, anyway. Anyway, we just have to say, we just have to say, Ed, Ed and Sue, uh, Ed, Ed's kind of like the property caretaker there. You know, Oz and John are out traveling around, and uh, people are coming and going like the graham cracker and Randy's old rusted vehicle over there. But Ed, Ed is the guy that's kind of there most of the time taking care of things, and he's done a nice job. Really nice looking uh, compound there out in the middle of... Uh, William, well, it's not in the middle of Williams. It's over way outside of Williams, Arizona, but he's doing a good job. Anyway, like the hat. I've actually got a couple of hats like that. I should start wearing them. It's, uh, it's uh, It keeps the, you know, it keeps your neck from getting real red from the sun, you know, because it's got a brim on it. I like that. Uh, yeah. Bandit and uh, b -b -b Scout. Bandit and Scout. They, I don't know if they like each other. They're rivals. Because he used to be, Bandit used to be the big dog. Now he's kind of been reduced to second class. I don't know. Dog rivalries at Nomad Ranch. Hey, I watch a lot more than just Nomads here on the uh, Camo Dave channel. And uh, I watch Fascinating Horror. This is, I think, an Irish guy. Does some really, really good videos about uh, really horrible events. Like uh, back in the old days, they used to allow you to walk across the... Uh, right Niagara Falls there would freeze over in a really cold winter and you could walk across the, the river there or whatever, this, whatever that is. Anyway, um, 
uh, and uh, some nasty stuff happened there. Some uh, really, really interesting videos from Fascinating Horror. Um, gets into the whole background of it and kind of brings them back alive. Really good stuff there. I like to watch a lot of airplane-y videos. Nonstop Dan is one of my favorites. Uh, the some of these airlines in the Middle East, there Etihad is one of them. They have, they've just gone all out with these beautiful luxury little apartments in their airplanes, and and why that has failed. Good video there, and uh, really good uh, analysis of uh, airlines and stuff like that. Cold Fusion's a good channel. I believe it's an Australian dude. Uh, Dogogo, I think his name is, but it's brilliant. Worldcom was a big company there that, that did a lot of communications things. I think they're actually based in the D.C. area, Loudoun County, which is not far from where I used to live, and a huge amount of fraud there, and a really sad story about what happened to the company. And another another one, Company Man Olympus. It's a big Japanese company. They also had a big, uh, a big scandal thing. So I, I, I enjoy those videos. You know, they're, they're cool, too. We got the Daily Blob. This is um, this is um, um, the the the, Eli, the computer guy. He has now uh, made his residence in Asheville, North Carolina, which is again not that far from me. And he's got a Silicon Dojo. He's got a little uh, part, not an apartment. It's like an office facility there, looking out over downtown. And he's uh, trying to get people to come and uh, and uh, work in a little lab there. And he is uh, doing many of his. Um, Interesting little talks. He started several new channels, including one called Silicon Dojo, so you might want to check that one out. Uh, Nick Johnson, guy from North Carolina. This is good video. The, wor the absolute worst ghetto's ever seen drives around uh, lots of uh, cities. And, and mainly, you know, I don't know. They all blend together. You know, one, one bad ghetto looks like another bad ghetto here. I don't know. I drive a classic. This is a British lady who uh, looks at some really cool cars. Really cool British cars. This one is an Austin A90 Atlantic. Uh, yeah, this is pretty neat. I love. She has a very nice channel. Check it out. Uh, yeah, and of course QV, QFS Aviation, one of my uh, one of the uh, many channels that I watch that cover a, a, aviation stuff. And the JetBlue is inaugurating a flight on an A220 there from Boston to Tampa. And all the all the aviation nerds are there. Regular cars, guy out of um, a guy out of a regular Roman there, guys out of uh, Pennsylvania, and they they review all these uh, your what your dad owned, what your granddad owned, all these old clunkers from the uh, 70s and 80s. They do a lot of different cars, but here's the Lincoln Continental Turbo Diesel. Oh yeah. Anyway, they're very uh, irreverent reviews, and uh, they're not like. Well, they're much more irreverent than, say, uh, Doug DeMuro, but the good stuff there from uh, regular. And, and Roman does his little musical ditties in there, too. All right, folks, that ought to do it for today, the 26th of May, 2021. Uh, I'd like to do a shout-out to Tina, to uh, b -b -b Heidi, Tina and Heidi, for their very kind PayPal donations. Thank you so much, www.paypal.me slash DCRTV, if you'd like to help support the channel, or my PayPal link is always down below. I'd also like to thank Kevin. Kevin sent me a really cool t-shirt, Kenny Rogers Roaster t-shirt. I guess I was talking too much about Seinfeld the other day. Anyway, I will be wearing that in a future episode, so stay tuned for that. Thank you, Kevin. They're in beautiful Vancouver Island, Canada. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday vlog under.